And on behalf of the members, staff, and leadership of SPIE and Photonics Media, it is a real pleasure to see you all here tonight. Everyone here is driven to create and launch new products. And while in this room we certainly have competitors, it's also clear that we share a common bond of being the kind of people who work hard to create new products. And I hope you find this evening enjoyable and valuable. We start with the first category, metrology and instrumentation. Our first category presenter is managing director and president of Physique Instrumente, often known as PI. A global market leader in the field of nano positioning technology with incredible motion control products using piezoelectric and motor drives for over 35 years. I've toured their headquarters and is extremely well organized. Everything is very precisely located. Please welcome to the stage to present the PRISM Award for Metrology, a skilled executive and president chairman of PI, Carl Spunner. Ladies and gentlemen, a few years ago, I was also on this stage and had the honor to present an award, one of this very nice PRISM Award. After some years now, something happened. I'm a little bit older and I'm semi-retired. What means semi-retired? You are in the same position, you have the same responsibility, the same title, but you get less paid. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to admit some other people to most of the work. And this gives me the opportunity uh, to enjoy also some other things. One I like very much is to read books about the history and also much more about the future. I like to read some articles, what's going on in future. I like to read about management, about strategy. And if you read some of this book, you can hear last century was called the century of the electron. And indeed, if you look what computer power you have on your smartphone. It is similar what the NASA had available to bring a man to the moon and safely back. Incredible what development was done in the semiconductor and in the computer industry. But the same people also say that this century we started a few years ago is the century of the photon because the power of the electron is limited. And I think, therefore, this event here, the Congress and the Exhibition of Photonic West, is a very important event to prepare for the future. Um, I read also some other aspects uh, where people think about not only about scientific aspect, but what will happen or what are important factors in the future, in the next 50, 100 years? What will be the important and dominant aspects uh, in the next years? One author mentioned four elements. Factor one is globalization. I think that's very clear. We know we can send goods also over the world, we can travel, and we can communicate. The internet is a very important media where we can communicate, communicate uh, exchange information, documents, and so all. There are no barriers which hinder us worldwide to do it, except a few states where some dictators try to isolate their people. But I think that's only a question of the future. Factor number two, this person said, 
important in future is that the power of the ladies will increase. They will influence very strongly what's going on and uh, <laughs> it may be also <laughs> and maybe also dominate the future. Uh, I think that's not the future. That is a reality now already. <laughs> and if I, I have the feeling sometime, um, I'm come from Germany, you hear it on my uh, language, on my voice. Um, we, are, uh, we have a, a chancellor, Angela Merkel, and we have some ladies in other organizations. Sometimes I feel already very much controlled <laughs> and dominated. <laughs> Number three in this list is the only scientific aspect. It is nanotechnology. I'm happy about this because all my business life, two words have been important. Piezo and nano. And indeed, with nanotechnology, not everything gets only smaller, more compact. The material change also in these small dimensions, the specifications, other features. And we can use these features to make new products and, yes, new products and benefit from it. But all this nanotechnology, there are two aspects important. High quality products for positioning and measuring. We have metrology is one important aspect to find out how the materials behave and how we can make products out of this knowledge. And therefore I'm very happy that I can uh, now present the finalists in the category metrology. With the MarsSurf TWI-60, Mars submits a revolutionary product for measurement of steep S-spheres in free forms. Polytex MSA 103D is a revolutionary single beam laser Doppler vibrometer. VTEX RISE system is the world's first fully integrated Raman imaging and scanning electron microscope. I think all these, all these three finalists are very much qualified. And unfortunately, or I'm happy that it was not my decision to select one of them, because I would have given all three the award, or I would have kept the award by myself. But, <laughs> but now I have to open the envelope, and the winner is we take. Wow, I'm overwhelmed and happy. Uh, I want to first thank the audience for your warm welcome. And then, of course, SPIE and the organizers of this really nice event. It's very professional. Uh, it's, this is the Oscar of the photonics industry. <laughs> and we are, we are really happy to receive that. Um, I also want to thank the jury for nominating us. That was already a big honor. And then get the award. Again, I'm overwhelmed. 
Um, I also want to thank my colleagues uh, in, uh, in Ulm, who basically did all the research together with my colleagues from Tascan. So uh, basically, RISE microscopy means Raman imaging, scanning electron microscopy. So the Raman imaging part comes from VTech, and uh, the SEM part comes from my colleagues from Tescan, uh, from Brino in Czech Republic, and I think uh, Jeff is going to say a little bit later something about that. Um, I also have to say I'm very proud on that award because that's for us at VTech a proof of or a, a f affirmation of the idea we had when we started in eight, 80 years ago out of the University of Ulm uh, as a science spin-off um, with the idea to do correlative microscopy. And uh, I think we have been successful in uh, many markets and also getting awards. I mean, we got also PRISM Award in 2012, which makes us very happy for uh, true surface microscopy. And uh, I think the second thing where I'm really proud on is that uh, we proved that a collaboration of two high-tech companies brings technology to the market. Yeah? You don't need to have a multi-billion company to get new technology into the market, but uh, if uh, high-tech companies uh, form a team, uh, one can be successful. Um, I also want to thank uh, the European Union because uh, that project was uh, within the uh, seventh framework called UNICEM. Um, so we got some uh, financial pr uh, support from the European Union, which was quite helpful. And uh, now I want to hand over uh, to Jeff Stretcher from uh, Tascan to say a few words. Thank you, thank you. Um, I think retirement sounds very nice, by the way. So. <laughs> <laughs> no. um, on behalf of... Uh, Tescan or say I'm Jeff Strager, president of Tescan USA. I wanted to thank SBIE and Photonics Media for this award. I want to commend VTech for being a great partner. And uh, this is a very powerful correlative microscopy solution. And I think the exciting part is to see un uncovering the applications that have not been explored yet. So on behalf of Tescan, I really want to say thank you very much and uh, want to Wish everybody a great evening. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Basically, I just repeat his words. Thank you, everybody. We are so happy. And I think, again, correlative microscopy, that's the way to go. Photonics West this year in the International Year of Light is even more exciting than ever, I believe. There's a great spirit about it. It's very difficult, really, to uh, resist the excitement about the potential of this field, the, ex the potential to continue to improve our world. It has done enormous amount already, but there's much more to come. Thank you all for what you've already done. Thank you for being here. We still have a lot to do. Much photonics, much fun lies ahead. Thank you and good night.